This world has produced dozens of powerful, beautiful, or even fierce queens. Most of the names that are about to follow, you probably already knew from history lessons. But I bet you didn't know about the quirks and antics of the world's greatest regents. In this video, we present 10 Extraordinary Deeds of Influential Queens. Are you fascinated by the mysterious things and incredible discoveries? Then give us a thumbs up, subscribe to Hidden Worlds, and join us on our adventure journey. Surprising Appearance The Egyptian regent Cleopatra is still an indelible legend 2,000 years after her death. The Queen of the Nile became legendary for her extravagant style and her art of wrapping the most powerful men in the world around her finger. Cleopatra, who actually came from Macedonia, arrived in Egypt by chance and ascended to the throne of the country in 323 BC. As queen, she liked to stage herself as an opulent goddess. Lavishly adorned and theatrically staged, she allowed herself to be worshipped on Earth as the representative of Isis, the goddess of love. It is clear that the greatest ruler of his time was eager to meet the queen of Egypt. Julius Caesar is said to have been very taken with her. But the queen came up with even more to convince the man of her worth. She had herself wrapped in a carpet and smuggled into Caesar's premises. There, she appeared out of nowhere just like a goddess. Caesar and Cleopatra were a couple until his death. After that, the queen snatched his successor Mark Anthony, disguised as a goddess of love. She received him on a richly decorated golden bark. In truth, by the way, Cleopatra is said to have been not so beautiful. Old coins show her with a rather masculine face and with a strikingly large nose. Nevertheless, her charm and education are said to have been extremely attractive. Cleopatra was considered a gifted orator, spoke 12 languages, and was knowledgeable in philosophy, mathematics, and astronomy. Mary of England, Pathological Thief Queen Mary of England was born Mary of Tech in 1867. In 1883, she married King George V and was the country's regent's wife for many years. The sophisticated queen is said to have had a very special tick. Even as a young girl, she swiped like a magpie all the beautiful objects that came her way. Rumor has it that she did not give up this passion even when she was the highest woman in the land. In palaces, houses, embassies, theaters, and other establishments where the royal couple went in and out, objects disappeared with striking frequency. In addition to richly decorated spoons, small sculptures, towel holders, soap dishes, or decorative daggers were among them. What the queen liked, she took with her. At least, that's how the rumor mill told it. The reputation of Queen Elizabeth II's grandmother went so far that international hosts had all valuables removed from the queen's surroundings. This is said to have been the case both at home and abroad. Instead of genuine works of art, nobles or embassies displayed knickknacks and junk when the queen visited. Joan of Castile, sleeping next to a corpse The king's daughter from the Spanish province of Castile was considered a delicate, fairy-like figure. She was sensitive, educated, and mercilessly romantic. When she married the Habsburg prince Philip the Fair in 1496, it was to be a unique and great love. But Joanna's husband loved her more physically than with his heart, and is said to have had numerous affairs. Joanna, who was later given the nickname the Mad Woman, then had all the women banished from her husband's entourage. Due to several deaths in her family, Joan became regent over much of Spain. Her husband was by her side, but died in 1506. After which, Joan traveled the country for weeks with her coffin, and is also said to have slept by her dead husband's side. Marie Antoinette, Fake Village She was the last queen of France. Before Marie Antoinette died on the scaffold of the French Revolution, she led an opulent life. She was rich, spoiled, lavish, and considered completely unworldly. Far removed from the normal lives of average people in the sprawling grounds of Versailles Palace, she indulged in extravagance. Her spending is said to have sometimes brought France close to bankruptcy. So in 1783, the eccentric queen decided to have a amou, a fake village, built in her palace. To this day, the village exists in the Garden of Versailles, a farmhouse, a romantic tower, parlors, stables for animals, and rooms for servants are clustered around a village pond. Marie Antoinette liked to play a bit of country life here with illustrious guests. 
she dressed up as a milkmaid, and her husband or other nobles of high rank appeared as stable boys. Of course, the nobles were always surrounded by a host of servants who did all the really heavy work at once. Queen Victoria of England, no time to eat. She was considered the Iron Regent of the 19th century and shaped the Victorian era named after her. Queen Victoria of England was known for her eating habits in addition to her regal qualities. In her younger years, she had a wasp waist and the court advisors and governess literally forbade her to eat. This took revenge because later the queen ate all the more. Victoria ate six courses in half an hour at a time when noble ladies actually ate like sparrows. She was known for her record eating times, in addition to the opulence of her meals. The stupid thing about it, when she was done, everyone else had to put down their spoons too, so she became one of the fattest queens in history, and she ate almost around the clock until the end of her life, going against the advice of her doctors. No official occasion, no meeting with state guests or other nobles where she was not accompanied by a servant packed with snacks, sandwiches, delicious meat bites, and pies. Nzinga of Ndongo and Matamba, Deadly Queen She went down in African history as a female icon. Nzinga of Ndongo and Matamba is now considered the mother of Angola. At a time when the Portuguese in particular were in constant search of slaves in her country, she became a resolute queen who successfully defended her state for years against the white profiteers. For a long time, she was celebrated as a folk heroine but it is now clear that the ruler came to power through murder. Zynga presumably had her brother and her own son killed just to be undisputed number one in the empire. And Zynga was defeated by the Portuguese in 1625 after all, and died herself a relatively insignificant woman in 1663. Marie Antoinette, Diamond Scandals Now we have another scandal surrounding the last French queen, Marie Antoinette, though she wasn't really personally involved. In 1784, the young lady-in-waiting Jean de la Motte, who actually had no contacts with the queen, started a nasty scam. She posed as a close confidant of the queen to Cardinal de Rohan, a high-ranking cleric and diplomat. For a long time, she even faked an exchange of correspondence between the cardinal and Marie Antoinette, as well as an alleged erotic meeting in which Marie Antoinette was played by a prostitute. When she had gained the cardinal's trust, Delamotte forced him to buy the most expensive piece of jewelry in the world at the time in the queen's name. The jeweler Bulmer and Bassange had been burning to sell this sinfully expensive piece for years and also fell for the scam. Due to empty state coffers, the jeweler was to be paid for by the queen in installments. But in fact, Delamotte disappeared with the necklace, which never reappeared. When the revolution broke out and Marie Antoinette was put on trial, she was accused not only of extravagance and ostentation, but also of stealing the necklace. Catherine the Great, Erotic Escapades To this day, she is the only regent on this earth who was given the official epithet the Great. Catherine II was the brilliant to brutal and innovative Tsarina of Russia from 1762 to 1796. But what is usually not mentioned in the history books is the Tsarina's sex addiction. She is said to have had at least 20 official and countless unofficial lovers during her reign, including some very young boys. Some slept with her to make a career, others are said to have really loved her. For her illustrious rounds, the nymphomaniac queen specially set up an erotic cabinet. According to eyewitnesses, there were tables with penis feet, bowls in the shape of vaginas, and pornographic paintings hung on the walls. The room was a legend for a long time. However, Wehrmacht soldiers who captured the palace in 1940 are also said to have reported seeing this cabinet. After the war, the room disappeared. Catherine was, of course, long dead by then. To this day, by the way, two stories circulate about the death of the Iron Regent. According to one, she died from a stroke in her bathroom. According to another, she was accidentally beaten to death by the animal while having sex with a horse stallion. Nefertiti, Change of Religion Queens are sometimes eccentric personalities, who, as you have already seen, like to afford one or the other scandal. But what Nefertiti did, no other regent did. She changed the state religion. Instead of Amun, the god of fertility and wind, she ordered the worship of Aton, the sun god. In practice, this meant a sinfully expensive reconstruction of temples and other palaces of worship in the country. 
clothing. Quite unlike her love-struck successor, Catherine Tsarina Elizabeth of Russia was considered a less political engaged leader. Elizabeth is said to have been fun-loving and very beautiful. She liked art, the pleasant side of life, and especially her clothes. So this queen is not known today for any important political innovations or battles won. Elizabeth was unofficially called the Queen of the Closet. She owned at least 15,000 opulent dresses. These were our 10 pampered queens, sometimes kleptomaniac, sometimes nymphomaniac, lavish, or who went down in history as insane. We hope you enjoyed this video and leave us a comment at the end. Tell us which of these escapades impressed you the most, or if you found the behaviors rather off-putting. We look forward to your contribution.